Hello everyone, I am Radhika and today we will study about current source and sinks under the heading analog building blocks. So let's see. An ideal current source is a two terminal element whose current is constant for any voltage across the source. And the voltage across this current source is dependent upon the external circuitry to which it is connected. Most current source applications require one of their terminal to be connected with the most positive or the most negative DC voltage in the circuit. And this leads to the two possible configurations Zp and Zn are the most positive and most negative DC voltages. The two possible configurations are current sink and current source. And the third is to floating current source when neither of the terminal is connected to VP and VN. That is the most positive terminal and most negative terminal. So it is shown in the diagram here in figure B that this is the you have commonly seen that this is the current source which have a constant current I0 for all any voltage across this source. And it is shown the ideal characteristic, IV characteristic of this diagram of an ideal current source that for any voltage there is a constant current I0. Okay. It is seen that there is a minimum voltage V min below which the current source or sink is not a good approximation to I0. In a region where it is not a good approximation, the actual source and sink deviated from R0. I repeat it once again, where the current and current sink is reasonably good approximation to I0, the actual sink and source deviate by a resistance R0, which represent the parallel resistance of the current source or sink. And ideally, this resistance is infinite. Okay. So, the two major aspects by which any of the current source or sink is characterized are V min and R0. So, V min is the voltage below which it is not a good approximation. And R0 is the resistance which it offers when it is a good approximation of a current source or a current sink. So let's see the MOS realization of a current sink. So in this configuration, we have seen this is a simple configuration in which gate and source both are connected together. And you uh, know very uh, well that this particular transistor will work in a saturation region and for this lambda body length of a channel length modulation effect to be zero, the value of I0 is given by the equation when the uh, transistor is in saturation region that is Kn dash W by 2L Vgg that is Vgs minus Vg whole square. Okay. And the output resistance of the current source for V greater than V min is equals to 1 upon GDS. Okay, that is the uh, conductance of this uh, DS, a uh, drain source only. And from the small signal parameter of the MOS, we have that R0, the uh, resistance will be given by, or we can say R0 is equals to RDS, which is equal to 1 by GDS, and equals to 1 upon lambda I0. So this equation holds for the MOS current source as well as for the MOS current sink. Okay. And in this circuit, we have shown in this particular uh, diagram, we have shown the IV characteristics. The IV characteristics of this circuit. Okay. Here is V min is shown and above which it will act as a current sink. Okay, so this is the women below which it is not a good approximation and above women it is a good approximation of a current sink. 
and in many cases we have seen that the output resistance is not large the output resistance we are talking about r not and this r not can be increased while decreasing i not and we uh, do not want this i not to decrease so there are several other methods which allow increase in r not without decreasing i not so there are the two method that we have used are negative feedback and positive feedback in the next lecture we will discuss about these two techniques to increase the value of r not without decreasing i not thank you